And we have then, today, um, uh, and we have because we were able to put a name on it. Yeah. Like in, in in the U.S., we call it a certified B Corp here at Impressos Bay. Uh, we were able to help people like see it the way you identify a brand, and I think um, that allowed people to to come together. Hola a toda la comunidad de Disruptivo, ¿cómo están? Estamos aquí en el Encuentro B+, el Encuentro Global de Empresas B en América Latina. Estamos muy emocionados porque durante tres días en Monterrey estamos aprendiendo todo sobre el Movimiento B y cómo impulsar la acción colectiva. Específicamente estoy ahorita con Andrew, uno de los fundadores del Movimiento B, no solo en América Latina, sino a nivel mundial, este, que desde 2007 fue quien, junto con un equipo, ayudó a pensar, a imaginar cómo podría ser un movimiento de empresas que miden e impulsen el impacto. Voy a pasar a inglés porque la entrevista es en inglés, eh, pero obviamente va a estar todo subtitulado para que todos podamos aprender. Andrew, thank you so much. You have a very tight agenda here in Monterrey. So thank you so much for giving us this It's couple of minutes to I'm learn honored, more. To, honored to be invited. We're, we're so excited. The vibe here is amazing. I mean, people cannot see it, but we're in the middle of a university. Uh, the mountains in Monterrey are really cool. Yeah, they are. And uh, it's really awesome to meet people like you. Uh, who You've been working in, in, in the B Corp movement almost... almost 16 years. 16 years now. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, before, I, before you tell us about the story, how do you feel being here in Monterrey, uh, seeing your work, the results of your 16 years yeah, of work? First, Viva Mexico. Eso. Uh, it's very nice to be in, in my neighboring country as an American. Um, And it feels uh, it's totally different here than it is in the U.S. Like the the spirit at any Sistema Bay event, but I think especially this one in Mexico has been uh, is is totally inspiring. Uh, like people are excited to be here yeah. and to be part of this movement and to be learning together and in relationship with each other, and that's been so much fun to see. I, I can speak for myself as a B Corp. We are excited and we are very happy to be here, especially. Because this event was supposed to happen in 2020, right? And it, and it got canceled obviously because of COVID, oh, and, and so yeah. now we're having it. So it feels double special. Yeah. No. Uh, so so it's, it's great to have you. Well, I think us. especially for a community of leaders who are so uh, relational, yeah, so used to trying and being together physically. I think it's been a hard whatever that's been three or four years yeah. since the last one. And uh, and I think maybe that's added to the excitement here about people being to get people being together for the first time in a long time. Which, which that speaks uh, directly to what you were telling me before we uh, started recording about one of the motivations of of uh, organizing this movement, the organ creating the the B Corp, uh, the the necessity or the potential that it is to bring people together who believe in the same things, not yeah. to create communities yeah. uh, of companies doing this. Do you think that's one of the one of the biggest uh, advantages, or that's one of the biggest things that we get out of these kind of events, strengthening the community? I do. I think it creates bonds and strengthens community when people can actually be together in a way that's hard to do on Zoom. Um, although, yeah. interestingly, the B Corp movement globally grew like crazy during COVID, okay. um, and I and I think that was because uh, I think that was because people realized during COVID that there was like something else that they were looking for, especially from business, mm -hmm. a sense of greater sense of purpose. And so uh, there was this explosion of interest in Latin America, in the US, in Europe, in Asia, um, in Africa, all over the globe during COVID, an explosion of interest in being in companies wanting to become certified B corporations. But then once they join the community, It's that sense of community that I think really happens in a place like this. Yeah. Um, and in similar kinds of events that our partners in each region in the world have every, um, every year. And, uh, and, and that sense of coming together or bonding, I think then creates the, the, um, the circumstances that make collective action possible. Um, the companies like really, they want to take action together uh, in ways that they, maybe they can't just if they were by them on their own. And I think that's something really special about this, uh, the, the, the B Corp movement and the ecosystem that I don't know any other industries that people from different companies, even sometimes competing companies, yeah. get together and say, we share the same values, we have yeah. a similar vision of the world, yeah. let's work together, let's help each other out. No? 
It's totally true. It's been amazing to me. When we started, we were worried, like, if we get one company from a particular sector, will none of the other companies want to become B Corps because it'll yeah. feel competitive. But these are the kinds of businesses who actually believe that they're like crowding in the competition uh, because they're more powerful than in, especially like in influencing their own industries uh, to change their practices or change their supply chains or change the way they do marketing. And so actually it's been, it's been sort of like the opposite of competition. No, oh, I, I love it. And I think it's, it's one of the values, I think. It, I don't know if it's spoken or unspoken, but it's one of the values that it, the, the real impact only happens if we all do it together. Yeah. Uh, so, so Collaboration, I, yeah. cooperation are, are like very explicit values, yeah. I think, of the, of the B Corp movement, because one of the intentions is to try to be totally different than the way the existing economic system works, which is much more transactional. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree. We can already, maybe, I don't know if the people uh, watching this are listening, we can already start listening to yeah. some music, the, the which Mariachi, is great because it, it's, band it's, is kind of a feeling, uh, it's kind of a feeling that we have in here of celebration. I want to go back very quickly, and I, I know telling stories can take a long time, but I just want to ask you a, a couple of things about, you know, where, when and, and where did, it, did this all start? Not, not where, I mean, in which city, but... Yeah. Where in your in your in your career in your uh, you know journey, uh, because, and you didn't do it alone, which is I right. think also very important to tell. Wh where were you in your in your career that you said you know we should do, we should start a movement? Did it look like a movement in the beginning? Tell us a little bit about yeah, so, that story. So in, the the beginning, story. in the beginning, there was no movement. There okay. were three of us yeah. who had gone to university together. Uh, at this point, now 35 years ago, but at that time, about 17 years before. And then we had each gone off and had different careers in the private sector. So we were entrepreneurs, operators. I was an investor, like a private equity investor. So we had each had actually pretty mainstream business careers. Um, but in the course of those careers, I think, had both seen the power of business to attract capital and talent to scale. Yeah. Um, and at the same time, uh, those same factors used to create damage, damage to communities, damage to workers, damage to the planet, because the only thing that they were thinking about in that scaling was maximizing profits for the owners, for the shareholders. And, um, and so that realization that the three of us had caused all of us to decide like there's got to be a better way to do business and uh and so we each left the careers that we had and 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 we actually thought about starting a new business uh ourselves that would sort of set an example yeah. for others to follow and as well while we were thinking about that we started looking around and we realized actually that there were thousands of entrepreneurs around the world who were already running businesses like that that put purpose at the center but they didn't, uh, but, but no one really kind of knew about them because they were each acting on their own. There wasn't an ecosystem that was bringing them all together. And, um, and it was sort of that realization that led us to decide we should create a certification that would help everyone know what is a good business yeah. uh, and identify it. No, I, 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 um, I love it. And, and I, I think that happens a lot in the, in the social uh, business system. There's a lot of people already doing it. Yeah. But when you put a name on it, when you put a, a structure, people come and people say, oh, I identify with that. That's right. Uh, and, and thankfully, well, right now we have over 900 people here in Mexico that identify with this and that, that feel part of this. Yeah. So I think... Um, it, and we have it, today... Um, uh, and we have, because we were able to put a name on it, yeah. like in, in the U.S. we call it a certified B Corp here at Impresas Bay, uh, we were able to help people like see it the way you identify a brand. And I think um, that allowed people to, to come together around a, like a common idea. Uh, and, um, and the other thing we did... I think that was really important from the beginning is what's sitting behind us. Yeah, is not I wanted plan, to ask you about it. Yeah. But we actually created what we call the Declaration of Interdependence. And the idea was every company that joins this movement should sign this document that committed it to the same set of values. Um, and that uh, and that like created a, a focal point, a way for people to rally around the same thing and feel like they were part of something bigger than themselves. And it's a big commitment. I mean, I, we've talked about this in Disruptivo before, uh, and, and, and we've told our own story as well with this, but it's actually businesses not just saying they want to create impact, it's actually putting it in their 
uh, you know, in their legal status is actually right. changing, you know, the figure uh, that, that you have before the government, before yeah. the people. Yeah. It's a big commitment it is a to big, have this declaration really in, your, in your and we, state. And we decided at the very beginning that um, there were lots of ideas like this out there. Um, and also lots of greenwashing, like yeah. because people know, le business leaders know that their consumers, their workers, their investors care about these social and environmental issues. That also means lots of people, um, lots of people just market themselves as good. And so we wanted to make sure that there was integrity and credibility to the brand. And that's why we created a certification with a set of standards that you had to meet a minimum set of social and environmental performance standards and you had to actually change your legal structure so you made yourself legally accountable to consider the interests of your stakeholders not just your shareholders so that that legal accountability is like built into the dna yeah. of every one of these businesses that becomes a vigor i love that no and, and I, for, for us it resonates a lot and that's one of the reasons that we decided to join as a b corp in, since 2017 and, and that's and awesome you guys were early we just last year we renovated our status so we're happy to to be part of that and that's i think it's, it's a lot to to you know just trying to go beyond just the talk or just the the saying or just doing something it, it commits you even in the long term because you don't know who is going to be in the future in the company, but now they have this to follow. Right. This well, I think when you issue. change the DNA of a business, you make it more likely that even with new ownership or new management, that those values uh, and that, that impact continues. And I think that's really important for lots of entrepreneurs or founders of businesses. They want to know that even once they're gone, that this business that they built there, which is like their baby, uh, uh, will continue to grow and can yeah. continue to scale while maintaining those values that they put in it from the start. Awesome. I love it. I think that the music and the noise is going to... I know, it's uh, making it hard. It's, it's going to be growing. So I want to ask you a lot more things, but I think uh, for now, uh, great. this is going to be it. Thank you so much. I know you're Pleasure. leaving, uh, you're running. It's been great to have you here. And again, I would love to talk more, but I think this is a great excuse to find ourselves another opportunity. Another opportunity. opportunity. Thank you so much, Andrew. Yeah. It's been great yeah. to see you. It's been great to getting to know you. Yeah. And I hope that this can help us bring more awareness to the movement. Thank you. In general. Really Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Take care.